A hail and hearty hello, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, taking a bit of a break from the whole GTA San Andreas thing and doing a Skyrim video. And this video, actually, I'm going to wrap up a small mission that, um, because of a glitch, you find it kind of hard to wrap up. And I'll explain during the mission. And the other part of this video, I'm going to be dealing with a mission that is an interesting mission that your character may come upon while wandering the wilds of Skyrim. And if you choose to do it immediately, well, if you're a lower level, it can be difficult. If your character is a higher level, well, can be a little difficult. But let's get on with the events that I'm going to show you in this video. Now, the first one is part of a mission I had done in the past. Um, in this one, help Salveni Nethria escape the cave. Now, the problem is she's stuck in the cave. And it was a mission involving the... Um, I'll just go to the map here and show. Um, it involves a location on the map, the current location, South Fringe Sanctum. I did a video on it, I believe, in the past. You go in, you help this woman escape, but she never exits the cave. And um, I forgot to let, you know, just help her out of the cave. So I'm going to go back into the cave and help her out the best way possible. And this is how you can do it if this glitch happens to you. When you enter the cave, your back is to uh, the woman you need to help. And as you see, she's kind of stuck right there. She never seems to be able to exit. And you can't get down there because where it says to Skyrim, you automatically exit. So what you do is switch your shout to unrelenting force. And you have to have the push modifier or part of it in order to do this. And then you just shove her out of the cave. And you complete that mission. So, on to the next part of what I want to show you. And that is the mission that is the primary part of this, the Pale Lady mission. The Pale Lady mission has an optional learn more about the theft of Frostmere Crypt, and you have to find the Stolen Sword. Now, Frostmere Crypt is somewhere up here, and it's right near another mission. Find out what the vampires are seeking, but we're not going there. We're fast traveling to Frostmere Crypt. Now, if you didn't choose to... Do the mission when you come upon it. Uh, you're going to find bodies piled on the steps. And you have this bandit highwayman. And here's a note. And you want to read the note. And it will re-educate you as to or cures bounty. Uh, kill Isa and Roger on sight. A hundred gold to whomever brings me their heads. Okay, Issa is the woman you meet when uh, you walk by Frostmere Crypt and she's the one who says, hey, I'm leaving, you can do what you want, and if you don't do this mission, 
It just hangs out on your mission tree. Well, I'm going to do this mission because it's kind of fun and a little spooky. But you go up to Frostmere Crypt and enter in. I'm going to switch the first person view here at some point to look around. And one of the things is you got kind of got to explore. And I'll tell you right now, you got to look around in Frostmere Crypt because there is a lot of hidden things. And I think I got this area cleared out. So let's get into the actual mission here in a little bit. In first person view, I also like to go sneaky sneaky and use the bow. As you can see, there are bandits up ahead and I'm going to take them down with the dragon bone bow. Um, it's just going to be straightforward and you know I feel bad about this not really but this guy I'm going to snipe out with a shot and take him down and then his uh, partner who is looking at him as he kind of nods around which is kind of gross you look in the distance there he's nodding around and yeah it's a little creepy but let's see what else we got here. A glass sword, a potion of plentiful healing, a ruined book we don't need. Um, what's in the large sacks? Nothing. Well, this one has apples. No big deal. Cooking, you can, if you like it, do a lot of it in Skyrim and make yourself some nice apple pies and stuff. I'm going to sneak down here. And, yeah, that's really kind of sick maybe if I he's stuck under the chair partially into the floor and he's bobbing around here I'm gonna take the gold and nothing else leave him bob around look at her uh, gold eh, nothing else worth taking nothing on the table um, gonna take the look in this urn usually there's some gold here and I'm gonna drop off my copy of Cure's uh, Bounty. And then there's a short room over to the side here. I'm going to take a look around here. Nothing worth bothering. Oh, that is creepy. And I'm going to arm up here and go into this side room here. There's a treasure chest. And, oh, there's a bandit. I'm going to shoot her. And boom. Take her down, and that was kind of sad. And check her out here, and get my arrow back. And got some books here. Read it. Eh. Sometimes these books they're not that heavy, and you can take a bunch of them and sell them for some extra gold. There's this snowberry, which is good for alchemy. The steel plate armor. Not that much money, not worth taking. Again, I'm going to take all these books and then check out the chest and see what's in there and move on with the mission. So let's continue on here. Um, nothing in the sacks here. What's in this uh, chest? Apprentice, easy to open. I have uh, lock picking magically enhanced. To a point where it's just super easy. I hate certain aspects of this game like lock picking. So I usually when I can magically enhance the heck out of it. So that it's relatively easy. Now let's go down this area. And again you got to check around. There's some decent stuff. Um, come down this next level. And there's this urn. And then there is this door here, but I want to check this area out. And the door is actually barred. I want to take the potion and check the end table. Nothing there. This door, it's barred. You can't open it. So 
I'm gonna go back to oh, Steel Sword. Gotta take the long way here. Kerr's orders. Nobody goes in or out until he gets back. Or the boss will skin you as soon as he's done with Regier. Gods, what a mess. So Kier and Roger are sealed in the crypt. Ah, got Dwarven Dagger and another book, which I'll take the cell. But once you creep up this area, there is someone to the left. And you want to take them down quickly. You don't want to bring too many of the bandits at one time. So the sneaky stealth stuff works really well. And now that I took down this bandit... I'm going to see what I can take. Nordic Warhammer, worth taking. Dagger, worth taking. And I don't want to sit in the chair, but there's this nice iron door to unlock. And again, lock picking is magically enhanced. Please, magically enhance your lock picking. The dwarven boots are about the only thing we're taking here. All these weapons are too heavy for the value and taking them and selling them not worth it now creep creeping here and we can look and there's a couple books here to look at and read you got to read all the books you might get enhanced but i'm gonna shut up here and there is some interesting dialogue that happens after this Anytime you see a high value book, it's usually a skill enhancement book. So I'm going to keep looking for books and then move forward for the interesting dialogue. Boss went down there today? Yeah, he's after Regia. Never seen him so angry. I've got a bad feeling about this. Something's just felt wrong down there lately. Eerie. Now you sound it. Busy as the cat. Be going on about the pale lady next. Apparently, Rajir is a Khajiit who's going crazy. Now, one of the things you can do is you see these markers, you can find out what's going on, and why. And I'm going to read through the pages of the, um, what are they, their journals. And the first is Kyer's journey log. Uh, Frostmere Crypt, week 12, what a disaster. We haven't seen a caravan in a week. We actually lost ground in a tunnels uh, that collapsed and the people were crushed. And then week 13, Isa and Rajir show up. She has experience mining, and it shows. It, you know, I'm not going to read it word for word. I'm going to explain it, though. And things seem to be turning around for them. And that's a good thing. These are bandit, bandits and stealing. Uh, week 14, tunnel going well. Issa made our first big find. They made some money. Rajir is working out really well. And things seem great. Then you go to week 15. The tunnel broke out into some kind of giant cavern. There's a whole forest. And they found a nice sword. Well, this guy, he takes the sword. And then some strange, eerie things start happening. And then on week 16... The cat is going crazy, and he's just, you know, going nuts. He wants to borrow the sword, but the guy who has it, the leader, says, nah, I'm not going to give it to him. 
I'll kill them with it, but I'm not going to give it to them. And, I mean, things really start falling apart for this group. And that's what's going on currently is, you know, Issa has run away and Kajir or whatever is going nuts. So let's check things out further, steal some stuff from the chest, and moving on to the next um, room. As long as you are sneaking, you won't bring the other guys up to this level to attack you. And um, you just sneak around here a little bit, and now you see the other, let's check the dresser out, you see the other part of the situation and nothing worth taking so far but I want to read Issa's journal which is what we will be picking up next and now Issa's journal says left the White River gang this morning um, she just leaves a gang and is now looking for um, someone else to work with. And she couldn't find so much work or anything. And then Rajir, he goes and uses some moon sugar and manages to find a gang to work with. They journey to, they join up with Kier's band and Treasure Hunt Dig is a disaster. She's like, yeah, these guys are just terrible. She takes over the digging. Rajir leads the raids. Things are paying off well. And, you know, she just thinks the other guys are lazy. And so, you know, as she's working them around the clock and trying to motivate them. And now, all of a sudden, they find this underground cavern and Kier takes the sword as a trophy and you know things seem to be paying off but then all of a sudden um things start to turn for the worse as Rajir starts having nightmares and speaking about the pale lady and you know this is where things are going nuts for this group and it's, you know, kind of like, yeah, um, her friend just goes into a coloring cat and he's really going nuts and she's tired of it. She wants to leave. And, you know, this is where you end up meeting her at the front of the crypt is she's leaving. They're trying to kill her and she fights back and wins. And leaves and says, I'm done with this. And it's all due to this pale lady. Now, there's, um, I'm going to pick up the journal. There's Rajir's note on the table. And I'm going to read that. And that note, Rajir, I see her in every shadow, hear her voice on every breath of the wind. The pale lady is driving him nuts, and he has to get the sword and put it back, and then he'll be fine again. Well, let's get on with this mission. Now, um, got to work your way down to the crypt. And these two guys are gone. Um, again, look around and search. There's going to be something of value. Um, salt, that's fine. This guy, uh, gold, okay, not bad. Uh, check this cupboard and uh, nothing. And look around. There doesn't seem to be anything of value. Um, I'm going to have to drop the bridge. So that means going through that door. But search these barrels. Tomatoes. 
again, cooking stuff. You can really just kind of cook, 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 cook. Make yourself some apple cabbage soup with tomatoes. But, eh, healing potions are better anyway. And gotta drop that bridge so into this open the door this guy and yep give him a good shot here and boom oh he falls down uh his companion what's going on here fire a few shots uh bandit highwayman is pretty tough he's coming at me and uh doesn't see me uh, wow, got away with that. And let's search their bodies here. Uh, only steel armor, not that great. Again, the weight per cost, eh, not worth bringing over and selling to an armorer. Um, now, check around here. There's a book of yellow riddles. Eh, take that. Um, search the dresser again i'm just going to kind of walk through this mission a little bit here take the coin purse of course 15 gold worth it uh there's a healing potion here that can be sold and nothing here and there's this guard here shoot her and oh she's hurt she's hobbled Oh, finish her off. And now I open the bridge. Usually someone comes out when the bridge is dropped and you can snipe them from that position. Guess I'll have to walk around here and snipe that person from around this area here. And yeah, there they are. She's standing right there and take her down. This will lead down to the passages that lead to the crypt. Now, there are some ore veins in this mine and area. Uh, most of this is slag. There's the bandit. Get the gold and the ebony arrow. Um, you can get a little turned around. Most of this is nothing. So, if you can grab a pickaxe and you find an ore vein, mine it. I'm going to take her down and then go down into the crypt after I take a look at a few things here, nothing of value. Um, she's caught under the bench for some reason. The soul gem, gem is empty, not worth taking. Uh, you can hear someone digging, so I'm going to take him down. Boss been down there too long. Ah, there they are. Yeah. Well, let's wait a little longer, then... Death is highly overrated! Uh, those two were kind of talking about leaving, in a way, but they're going to give their boss a little more time. Um, let's see what this guy has. Uh, Staff of Frostbite, awesome. I hear someone digging, and I'm going to go take him down and see what's going on. Damn, a rock slide. Oh well, that happens. At least I didn't die. Now I'm going to check this out. Nothing here. And I'm going to find out where the digging is coming from. And I'm going to take that guy down. Uh, after I kind of wander around and get sidetracked a little bit here. Go up the rock slide here and 
check things out again and yeah there's nothing up at the top here it doesn't go that much further uh the digging is going on uh further into the crypt so back down and back into the crypt area Okay, that should be the last guy. Um, there's a ore vein that he was mining, and I'll take the arrows back. It's silver. Um, I'm going to check things out, but I believe then the next um, stage would be into Frostmere. I think I got everyone. Um, so the area I'm just checking out. There's this urn, and there's a little gold and a ring in there. Nothing else here. That's not an ore vein. That's the door that will go into Frostmere Depths. We don't want to go there yet. So I'm going to scope things out, and I believe everyone is dead. Go back up here, and I don't hear anyone. I don't see anyone. Uh... That's the other area. I'm going to go back down and I'm going to mine the silver. Okay, normally you should just be able to attack the ore vein and mine it quickly, but I guess it wasn't working several times I tried, so just mine it the slow, old-fashioned way, and then we can move into Frostmere Depths. Once I check out and arm my character back with the Dragon Bone Bow, and let's get into the Frostmere Depths. Okay, now you see this guy here, he's wounded, and since I'm sneaking, it's Kier, I could steal from him, but I want to talk to him. Finally, someone came. Uh, I... Uh, the cat, uh, Rajir, ambushed me. He's trying to take the sword back. Uh, I can't... <laughs> Kier is dead, and you can just kind of take from him. Uh, I'm going to flip to third-person view, uh, since it's going to be a little better view. This guy doesn't have anything of note. Uh, take these wildflowers. They're blue mountain flowers. But now, there's the entrance, and again, I'm going to flip to the Dragon Bone Mace for this, and uh, third person view of sorts, and as you go down this path, you will see Rajir fighting, and I'll let things go. No, no. you got to banish the Pale Lady. Rajir is dead. I'm going to ignore him for now. I'm going to attack the Pale Lady 
who is basically a wisp mother. And I'm using the uh, dragon bone hammer with electrical damage because it hurts magic. And the magic is, um, again, I'm going to pick up this stuff, clean things up. Uh, you always want to use electrical on magical opponents because it decreases their magic. Now I'm going to check out Rajir here. Or before I do, I'm going to check out the altar. There's some gold. Um, I don't know if this is a grand soul gem. If it's full, probably is. Um, you can put the sword stand in and nothing happens. And... The Pale Lady is the sword. And you find the stolen sword. You can either put it back into the uh, stand or take it with you because the mission is now over. You've completed it. Now, in, one of the things you want to do is if you want to immediately go to the end, go ahead. You can activate this. It does nothing if you pick it up and take it with you again no big deal but now you want to explore this cavern and there's a lot in this cavern and it's you know it's vast it is huge and i'm gonna do candlelight to help explore now i'm gonna show you that there's a lot to this cavern than just this main mission and if you rush through the main mission uh, you go over to the left of the entrance and there's these area right here where there's I'm gonna flip to the map here and show you um, the local map and this cavern is really vast you kind of want to you know, take your time and search through it. Right here is your current location. There's the entry. And as you can see, this is, it's vast. It's, if you don't explore it, you don't reveal. And in this case, you want to go up and there's this skeleton. Um, search the skeleton. There's a little gold. But there's also an ebony warhammer. A steel shield and an ebony warhammer. I'm going to flip to first person so I can pick up. And again, you want to search through and walk around this area because there is a lot of extra stuff here. And we're going to go around here. Nothing here. Uh, candlelight works really well. Cast it again so I can see. And I'm getting a little turned around. That's why I usually play, play third-person view. Um, there's some alchemy ingredients. So I'm flipping to third-person here so I can see where I'm going. And I'm going to go back uh, to the entrance a little bit. And reorient myself here. But there is this main entrance. Now I'm going to flip back here. And you got to kind of explore around. And I'm going to fast forward to the next area a little bit and show you on the map where it is. If you stick to the edges of Frostmere Depths, there's a mass you find this master chest. And I'll show you on the map. you got to stick to the edges. And it's right here's the entrance. The skeleton's around here somewhere. You stick to the edges. You find the chest here. Again, stick to the edges of the cavern. A master, again, I've upgraded my lock picking. This is no problem. Uh, you've got a lot of good stuff here. And now you stick to the edges of the crypt. And you keep, or not crypt, but depths. And you can find a lot of good things. There's the little island on the lake. Uh, i got to jump out of this area here. 
and again keep sticking to the edges a torch bug I'll take that and there's a waterfall and a lot of other things the source of the water here comes from a spring feed again I'm gonna jump around the edges there is not too much left to find but I'm gonna climb all the way up here and you keep walking around again stick to the edges I'm at the top here nothing around here and you just walk around I'm gonna fast forward to the waterfall this is the waterfall and it is the source of water in the um, depths and I'm gonna check behind the waterfall to see if there is anything sometimes there is and it's a decent treasure chest but there is nothing so I'm gonna keep moving on and as you can see there's brush here and on the map we're now way up here and the crypt is pretty or not crypt but depths pretty pretty big I mean the waterfall here and then the nothing behind it but nothing around so I'm gonna move on to the next area which is the exit to this once I jump down and around here you're gonna be jump on the log and then you can see the exit area and this is where you would leave if you just complete the mission and you don't explore you've just passed up a lot of treasure and again I'm gonna show you on the map this is the current location this is the exit you can see this is a pretty vast kind of cavernous area and they've hid treasure chests around and over here is a dragon word wall now this is another thing you get the word for frozen frozen in place whatever it is um learned ice ice form and that's part of a shout and around here check out there's an urn not too much left uh you go around the word wall here cast some more candlelight and i'm gonna go back a little bit and just off the word wall there should be a minor chest somewhere around here i'm gonna explore this area here check out the waterfall if there's anything under it but i can tell you right now i've played this before there's nothing there but again you gotta check this whole cavern out i'm gonna fast forward to the next event because there really isn't nothing between this and the next area the only other significant find here is some orconium uh or and this time just attacking it works to get the ore out and a flawless ruby i'm going to show you uh there's this little spring here but on the map the orconium is right here not too far from the entrance which is right here um, i pretty much explored out this whole area and if you just went right to here and exited again you've just passed up a lot of treasure and when they designed these things in um skyrim they wanted you to explore and reward for exploring was more treasure so i'm going to fast forward to the exit and get the master chest there and put an end to this exploration
now the end master chest and this is a daedric shield flawless garnet there was some decent loot here now this area is been kind of explored out here and now to exit here and get to frostmere crypt now that we're in frostmere crypt the uh end is near and this takes the your character up you can try and explore in this pool there's not really a lot there but if you want to explore go ahead i'm going to skip over and get to this barred door now this barred door i gotta get focused back on it leads to the entry area where you initially came in there are the two bandits i initially shot at least he has stopped nodding which was creepy now let's get out of here and get on with the video i am brad proprietor of barstool entertainment reminding you if you like this type of video smash the like button um if you like my channel please subscribe it helps support the channel in a sense and tells YouTube it's worth watching and monetizing uh, don't forget to stop by my wonderful website barstoolentertainment.com to enjoy the webcomic teen spider adventures and all the other fun stuff that might be there um as always thanks for stopping by